Hello, I'm Indra Bartona and welcome to my show. Today's topic is all about the release of physical things that no longer serve us. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of things that I've discovered along this journey and I've really learned to love this process. So, let's get started. Today, we are all so truly blessed. It really just blows my mind to think about all the things that we all have in our homes. Just so much stuff, so many belongings. We are human collectors of things. And I'm not advocating that we just surrender all of our personal belongings because we spend a lot of time in the physical realm. I just wanna bring this to your awareness. We all fall guilty of collecting so many items, whether it be clothes, shoes, handbags, tools, books, and in my case, plants, and kitchen utensils, and everything else. <laughs> so, we just don't use multiples and multiples of these things. So it's just about being aware that we have the surplus. In bringing about awareness of all the surplus that we have, I also want you to be aware of things that are just not serving you. You haven't really touched them or used them in six months or more. Let's think about, you probably have loads of things. Now, a reason that it is difficult to release the physical things, even though they no longer serve us, is because we as human beings, we attach human emotions. These emotions of attachment to things, to stuff. And so that's the thing that makes it difficult for us to just release it. And often it's easier for younger people to do a spring cleaning and to release things than older people or the elderly because they've had those things for a much longer time period. And over the years, they have grown an attachment to those things. So it is a little bit more challenging as we get older to release those things, but it's still such a great exercise to release. Now, when we release and let go of some of the clutter, we open ourselves up to so many good things and benefits. I mean, one of the first things is an increased level of concentration. Well, of course, that's gonna be, <laughs> I think that's almost an obvious because there is less stuff around us to distract us. So concentration is increased. Time efficiency, is also another plus because everything has its place. And that, of course, saves you so much time from rummaging through everything because you know where it is. According to many, many studies, it's been revealed that people that live in more sparse surroundings are just a lot more organized and happy. Hmm. Think about that one. As well as having an increase in positive vibes, there's also less stress and a feeling that you have more control over your life because you know where everything is <laughs> and there is less clutter. Another thing to consider is our sense of self is not associated to physical belongings and things and stuff. We should have our self-worth separate from all of these things. We are not our things, we are us. Our self-worth can be elevated when we realize that we are not associated to this material world. We are not associated to the things, to the stuff that we own. If you're not good at letting go of things, then I've created some affirmations to help you along the way, before the process, during, 
and after <laughs> decluttering. So here's some affirmations and I hope that these will be helpful along the way. I am not my material belongings. I am so much more. I am not my material belongings. I am so much more. These items will be somebody else's treasure. These items will be somebody else's treasure. This will be a gift to others who can see its use and value. This will be a gift to others who can see its use and value. I'm so blessed to have so many things already in my life. I'm so blessed to have so many things already in my life. This has lightened my load spiritually and I feel much lighter. This has lightened my load spiritually and I feel much lighter. This clearing of things has brought about a sense of calm. This clearing of things has brought about a sense of calm. How to get started with removing all the clutter and the things that no longer serve you? Well, don't overwhelm yourself, but just start with one room in your house at a time. I really like to start with the kitchen at first and just remove any of the surplus things that I have duplicates of or I haven't touched in six months or more. And then just move from room to room and just do the same exercise. Another tip when decluttering your home and your personal space is to play some music along the way. I mean, anything that, that gives you a little bit of energy and joy play in the background and it's just like cleaning. You will just be off doing the activity and enjoying the music. For me, I make it a habit of once a week to declutter my desk area because I just feel like there's a level of efficiency and it's more streamlined for me and I can think clearly if the space is clear and tidy. Thank you so much for watching this show. I always love to hear your comments, so please drop them below the video and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. We have a great community growing in the Positivity Vibe Tribe Facebook group. So I would love you to have a look at that. And also, if you are into t-shirts, coffee mugs, we have both men's and women's with the Positivity Vibe Tribe logo on it. And again, if you do happen to purchase anything, please take a photo and post the photo in the Facebook group, the Positivity Vibe Tribe group. I hope you enjoyed the show and I'll have a new show for you really soon. In the meantime, I'm sending you love, light, and blessings.